Here we have the Japanese larch, Larix camphori. And I believe I got this one from forestfarm.com. And for those of you that don't know, a larch is a deciduous conifer, meaning it loses its needles in the wintertime. And we're in mid-August now, and I'm noticing there's a little bit of browning at the tips of some of the needles. And that might be due to heat and drought, because I believe Japanese larch probably prefers a cooler, wetter climate than what Middle Tennessee has to offer, especially this summer. It's been very hot and dry. But it seems okay. This is a regular Japanese larch, and I have another one right next to it that's a different cultivar. I think this one is something like Diane or something. I got this one from Conifer Kingdom, and this is a different cultivar of Japanese larch, but same species. And supposedly this one has a little bit more of a columnar growth pattern. You can see I've got them both staked up to keep them growing straight. The foliage looks a little better on this one, and this one is a little bit more shaded in during the day. It gets a little bit more shade. so. That may validate what I said earlier about it liking cooler temperatures. But it put on some impressive growth this year. Maybe four or five inches on this one, and the other one probably six inches. And it's got a lot of buds on it, so it's kind of an experiment. I read online that Japanese larch doesn't really like the heat and humidity of Tennessee. But then again, I also saw online where they had one planted at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, and it was really big, so maybe in the right conditions they can survive. I'm gonna try it. Here's that other one again. It's a little bit more sparse on the foliage, and like I said, there's something about this environment that it's not liking very much because of that browning. And let me show you one other interesting species Okay, this one is not actually a larch. It's a golden larch. And the species is Pseudolarix amabilis from China. And you can see the needles on this one have also got that characteristic browning, probably some type of sun scorch. And maybe they're just not really tolerant of heat, or this is a pretty small specimen. You can see the whole thing is only, I don't know, seven inches tall. But um, I'm going to keep going with this one and see what it does. Just getting started. I'm keeping them watered so they don't dry out completely. And in theory, this one is even more tolerant of heat than the other two I showed you, the Japanese larch, just because it comes from an area that's further south. So we'll see. This one is also deciduous loses its needles in the wintertime.